Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about setting up the Slider Revolution plugin with your Stockholm site. Once you've activated the Stockholm theme, and if you need help with that, I'll leave you a link for a tutorial in the description below, you need to navigate to Plugins in your admin dashboard. And in here, you're going to see a notice at the top telling you about plugins that are required for the Stockholm theme to perform at its best. One of these plugins is the Slider Revolution. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Begin Installing Plugins so we can see the full list. And here are all the plugins required and recommended by the theme. You can see which is which in the column on the right. For now, I'm going to tick the box next to Slider Revolution and click on Install. When it says Plugin Installed Successfully, you can return to the Plugins Installer window. And we can see that there is an Activate button below the Slider Revolution. I'm going to click on that now. With that, we've successfully activated the Slider Revolution. Now I'm going to go to my Dashboard Home window, and this will make the Dashboard menu options refresh. Now, here at the bottom, we have the Slider Revolution and its options. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now, this is the Slider Revolution interface. And when you're going to be making your sliders or modifying those from the theme demo, you'll be working from here. It doesn't look much like the WordPress dashboard, but trust me, it's not as scary as it seems. Over here, you will see several different options. You can create a new blank module by clicking on this option. So you will be creating a new slider from scratch. Then you can add a new module, meaning slider, from a template. I will be talking about that near the end of the video. And you also have the option to manually import a module. So if you've taken a look at the Stockholm demo sites, you probably noticed that many of them have sliders, and those are made in the slider revolution. Let me show you with Olaf, Stockholm's 21st demo. On top of the home page, we have this looping full screen slider. I'm using Olaf as an example to show you how to import any of the sliders in the Stockholm demos onto your own site. I'll start by going to Theme Forest. And I'm already logged into my account, so I just need to navigate to my downloads page. Here we see Stockholm, and next to it we have this download button. I'm going to download all files and documentation for this theme. I'm going to get a zip file that I'll open as soon as it's finished downloading. Here we are. Inside this file, there is a folder that says XML export. Now let's open the XML folder. Inside it, there's a folder called New Demos, and within that, we have a Rev Slider folder. It's a bit like nesting dolls. Open it up, and now we see all the numbers of all Stockholm demos that include Slider Evolution in their design. I need number 21. If you recall, the demo I want to use as an example, the one I opened, Olaf, was demo number 21. You can see which demo is which number by checking their URLs on the live theme. Let me show you what I mean. So, I've previously decided that this is the slider that I want to import. And if you check the address bar, you can see which demo number this belongs to. So, the URL here lets me know that my slider belongs to Stockholm demo number 21. That means I need to go back to my Rev Slider folder and look for the demo with 21 in the name, which is this one. There's going to be a zip file inside and you need to pull it out. And this is our zip slider. Don't unzip it. What you need to do now is import it. You can do that by going back to your WordPress dashboard, to the window where the slider evolution options are. Now I'm going to click on manual import, then click to choose. From there I need to select the zipped slider that I took from my rev slider folder. Just so you don't get confused, it's called Slider 1 because it's intended to be on top of your front page. The name doesn't have anything to do with the demo enumeration. So, this is the file I'm going to select and upload. Give it a moment to upload. There. Now that we've imported the slider, we can see it here underneath, in the Slider Revolution interface. You can preview what slides your slider has by clicking on this option on the right, Show Slides. You can edit them individually by clicking on the little pencil, but before we get into that, I'm going to show you how to add the slider to a page. To do that, you need to go to Pages, All Pages. So, first of all, you need to open the page where you want to add the slider. 
I'm using this slider revolution page to show you the steps. So this is the page where I'll be adding my slider. Now, there are a couple of ways you can add a slider to the page. The first is this. Find the slider you want to add. As your site grows, you might end up having several here. And find Embed in the additional slider options. When you click on it, you get a shortcode for this particular slider. See? It has slider1 in the name. You can then copy this and go to your page to paste it. I'm going to scroll down here because I need to locate the field where the shortcode goes. It's in the general section here and this is what you need. The layer slider and select slider shortcode field. And then go ahead and paste the slider shortcode. I'm going to click on update. Then we can check how things look now that the slider has imported. And here we are. My page front end has the same slider that we saw on the theme demo. Now, there is another way that you can add your slider to a page. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the slider I added to make room on the page and so you can see the alternative approach. Our second way of adding sliders involves using a page builder. And I'm going to show you the steps using WP Bakery. Firstly, I'll enable editing the page with WP Bakery by pressing this button. OK, it looks a bit different, but it's the exact same page. And I'm going to click on Add Element here. This pop-up window shows a collection of shortcodes that you can add to your page. Rather than trying to spot it on my own, I'll start typing Revolution Slider here in the search box. Alright, there it is. So, I'm going to choose that and it will open a selection of available sliders. Since we only imported one, it's not hard to find. Click on the plus sign to add the slider to your page. OK, I'm going to update the page now. And we can go to preview changes to see how the page front end looks. Alright, we've successfully added a slider to the page. I can close this tab now. And let's go back to the slider settings again. I want to briefly show you how to edit slides. So, find your slider and click on the little pencil to edit. And this is how the editing mode in Slider Revolution looks like. You have the first slide open for editing, and the options you can use to modify it are on the right hand side. Make sure to save after making changes. And when you're ready to edit the next slide, you can pick it using the slides option at the top. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail about editing slides as that's not the purpose of this tutorial. However, Slider Revolution is a third-party plugin and as such its developers at Theme Punch have FAQs and documentation ready to help you. So, if you want to familiarize yourself with all of its options and possibilities, you can take a look at the official Slider Revolution documentation. They have text guides and video guides and generally pretty comprehensive tutorials for editing your slides. They can teach you how to add layers or special effects or whatever your design requires. So that's a great resource for you right there and I'll leave you a link to it in the description below. For now, let's go back to the slider revolution settings in WordPress. Let me close this. Alright. Now let's go to the global settings. There is one final step that you need to make when you import your slider here. Under Default Layout Grid Breakpoint, you have settings for advanced responsive grid sizes. These are the default settings that come included when you install the slider revolution. But since it's a third-party plugin, the grid settings for it and the theme can differ. So you should change these so they don't conflict with the theme. For the default desktop content, you will want to put 1920 pixels. And for the notebook content, you will want to put 1441 pixels. Sometimes when you import a slider, you might notice that the layers are not aligned exactly as they are on the demo site. That happens when you forget to adjust these values and the plugin and theme settings come into conflict. So for your slider layout to be exactly as it is on the theme demos, you just need to modify these two values. When you're done, click on Save Global Settings. Perfect. There's another thing I wanted to show you here, and that's this activation option at the top. When you click on it, you get this option to register the slider revolution. You can safely ignore this. Why? Because the slider revolution comes bundled with the Stockholm theme. What that means is that when you purchase Stockholm, you will get a free copy of the plugin and that plugin will have all the same core features that the standalone version has. 
However, there are some differences between bundled plugins and standalone plugins. With bundled plugins, you do not need to register them on their own. Registering the theme and activating them through the theme is enough, you don't have to do the extra step. On the other hand, with bundled plugins, you will not have access to automatic updates. That does not mean your plugin won't be updated. On the contrary, once new versions of Slider Evolution come out, we will include them with the next Stockholm theme update. So you will be able to update your Evolution Slider plugin by updating your theme. And that way you can be sure that the theme and plugin will work together optimally. If you need to see which plugin version your site is running, you can do that under Updates. Here you can see which is your installed version and what is the latest available version of the plugin. Right now they match. And we can see that this version, the 6.2.22, was updated very recently and we can see what bug fixes were made. Alright, one last thing I want to show you. Go back to the top using the Modules option. Now, I've mentioned that you can create a new slider, and we've seen how to import a slider that you can use to customize. What I want to touch on now is the option that says New Module from Template. When you click on it, you will get to see some templates that are provided by the Slider Revolution plugin. You can choose to import one of these templates. Simply click on the plus sign that appears when you hover over a template. Since there are several pages worth of different templates, you might find it easier to browse them if you sort them differently. You can filter the templates by type using the options here on the left. So if you know what kind of slider you'd like, you can narrow your choices using these options. Or you can try the options here at the top. Save your favorites, sort the templates by creation or update the list to get any new templates. Simply select what works for you. Or use the pagination at the bottom to carefully go through the entire selection. And that's it! As we've seen, there are several options for adding sliders to your site. And several ways you can do that using the Stockholm theme. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you for watching. If you would like to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comment section below. Thank you!